goodness. Hey, a cupcake. <laughs> uh, no, I was just a little bit um, uh, focused on what I was writing. How you doing? Mm, good, good. Are you sure about that? Okay. No, no, no reason. I was just, um, I don't know. You look a little stressed right now. You good? All right. Uh, I was writing, uh, notes. I, I, I want to get my thoughts together and find the right words to say to someone. I, um, I have a friend who's in a relationship that, um, it doesn't seem to be a good fit for them. Like, I can't help noticing that, uh, like, my friend will say, I love you, and the girl they're with only replies, like, one out of every five times, right? It's, um, it's kind of heartbreaking to see. I, I mean, the girl isn't a bad person. I, I don't think that. I just think that... I think that, um... I think they're not a good fit. I think that... My friend is way more invested, and she's just not there. And it's been a while, so I'm not going to say she's not there yet. I'm saying she's just not there. And it's, it's sad. It's hard to watch. Uh, so, yeah, I figured I'd come out to the park, clear my head, try to find the right words. Um... Actually, since you're here, maybe you can help me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to tell you who it is. But, um, I mean, there are certain universals, right? Y you, you know the basic outline of what the issue is. Maybe you can help me say what you would say if it were me. Okay, well, this is what I've got so far. Um, the reason I asked you to join me today is because I've seen you struggling lately and it's breaking my heart. I know it isn't easy when you give your heart to someone and they don't seem to reciprocate your affection with the same intensity. And I can't help but feel like you're deserving of more than that. Anyone would be. Good start. Okay, good. Um, then I've got... I've been watching you try so hard to make things work in your relationship, but these things are supposed to be a two-way street. You can't keep pouring your energy into something that's not giving back to you. You've been wrestling with this for a while now, and I can't help but notice how... It's dimmed your sparkle a little, my love. You used to be so excited when you spoke about her, but, well, let's just say your smile doesn't quite reach your eyes anymore when she's the subject of conversation, and it hurts to see you hurting. It shouldn't be this hard for you. I mean, sure, good things are worth working for, but you can't be the only one doing the work. Thank you. Um, I wrote, you're giving her your all. You've been patient and understanding. You've been endlessly supportive. But tell me, is that being returned? When was the last time she truly listened to you? When was the last time she made you feel cherished and valued just for being you? You should be loved that way because you are lovable. And that's as far as I've gotten. I'm sorry, what did you just call it? Breadcrumbing? Oh, gotcha. Okay, so 
giving them just enough to keep them coming back and coming back, but not giving them all that they need. I see. Okay, so does that have to be an intentionally manipulative thing, or is it just... Yeah, because I don't, I don't think that she's doing it to them on purpose. I think that she just... Like I said, she isn't there. I think that she's just got her attention in so many different directions that she doesn't have enough for my friend. You know? And they just have different needs that she's not able to fulfill. Gotcha. Okay, so how do I write that? Um, oh, okay. Um, how about loving someone shouldn't leave you feeling empty or neglected. It shouldn't be a constant battle for breadcrumbs of attention and affection. Yeah, okay. Loving... Someone shouldn't leave you feeling empty or neglected. It shouldn't be a constant battle for breadcrumbs of attention. Oh yeah, and affection, and affection. Oh, yes, that's good, good, good. Okay. You deserve someone who sees your worth. Without having to prove it. Over. And over again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Showing up. Showing up for you emotionally as well as physically. Huh. Okay. Um, what is next? Oh, you're right. Yeah, it can be scary to move on. It can be pretty daunting. Sometimes the familiarity of what you have can feel safer than the idea of being alone. Well, that's true. Staying in a relationship that's draining you isn't safe either. Especially when it erodes at your confidence and you know, dims your sparkle. So how do I put that? Okay, well, what if they don't feel like they're stronger than they realize, though? Well, yeah, that's true. I suppose everyone's been through storms before. We've all come out the other side. This isn't any different. Okay, um, so you're stronger than you realize, you said? You're stronger than you realize. That was a period. And you've weathered storms before. And come out. Yes, even stronger. Good. Okay. Um What do what do we do next? The future. We should talk about what the future would look like. What would the future look like? I want to give them some hope, right? Well, you're right. Feeling like you're stronger than you thought, that that's hopeful, but... Yeah, yeah, actually. Let's think about the other side. Um, okay, so... 
Think about it. What do you want your future to look like? Can you actually see yourself continuing like this? Does that sound too harsh? Okay. Um, it's about to get harsher. <laughs> Um, can you actually see yourself continuing like this, constantly craving something you're not getting? Or do you envision a life where you're surrounded by people who uplift and inspire you and encourage you to feel good about yourself. Oh. What? No, you're right. You're right. Okay, let me put that down. Moving on doesn't mean that you're giving up or failing. It means you're choosing something better for yourself, something anyone deserves. I haven't done this much writing since university. You're right. It is a brave decision to prioritize your, well, your own well-being over the fear of loneliness. I, I like that. Hang on. You deserve happiness, my darling. And sometimes that means letting go of what's weighing you down. Uh, this isn't going to be easy. Oh, yeah, I should put that. You're very good at this. Uh, remind me to come to you if I'm ever in a lousy relationship. <laughs> um, I'm not saying it will be easy. Healing takes time. And there will be moments when you doubt your decision. But remember... You are not alone in this journey. You have friends, family, and a support network who care about you deeply. and want to see you thrive. I like that. Uh, <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, the person in question has a great many friends because they are absolutely wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Who says you don't know them? No, that would be telling. You know what? I tell you what, I will tell you who this is for after I've given it to them, all right? Okay. Okay. 
So what could I say next? Is that everything? I don't think that's everything. That doesn't feel like everything. I feel like... Oh, yeah, give your permission, give yourself permission to mourn. Please give yourself permission to mourn the loss of what could have been. Yeah, because it does feel like you've lost something even when you haven't. Like, it, it feels like you've You've lost a potential. It feels like you've lost a future, doesn't it, when you break up with somebody? Oh, you feel like you've lost all those plans that you had with them, even though they were no more real than a wish. But it does feel like you've actually lost something when you go through that. Oh, yes, that's a good spin on it. Well, not spin. It's a good way. It's a good take on it. Um... But don't forget to celebrate the courage it took to step away. It's a step toward a brighter future. And one where you're free to find someone who sees your value and loves you wholeheartedly. as you deserve to be loved. Okay, good. I want to end this on an optimistic note. Uh, yeah. All right, hold on, slow down. Say that again. You owe it to yourself to be happy. To wake up each morning knowing that you are cherished and respected and loved just as you are. Just as anyone does. Mm, that's good. Okay, so take a deep breath. Gather your strength. And take that first step towards a life. Oh, I like that. Where love isn't a question mark but an exclamation of joy. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, freaking done. You're kind of poetic, aren't you? You're worth it, my friend. You're worth every bit of love and happiness this world has to offer. And when you are ready, Dot, dot, dot. When you've healed and rediscovered your zest for life, you will look back on this moment, not with regret, but with gratitude for the strength you've found to choose happiness even when you didn't know what that would look like. Ah. Okay. I'll be here for you, cheering you on every step of the way. Because you deserve a love that lifts you up. A love that fulfills you. And a love that never makes you question your self-worth. Gravy.
I hope you will believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. I think that's it. Thank you. Um, you think they'll believe it? <laughs> it can be hard sometimes when somebody is whittled away your self-worth. Yeah, I hope so too. You're right. You're right. It is true of absolutely everyone. You know, you were very helpful here. I'm glad you came early. I thought I wanted to get all of this done before you and I hung out, but uh, you were a huge help. I, I don't know that I could have done it as well without you. You are welcome. Yes, yes, I am ready. Uh, oh, uh, but first, I wanted to talk to you about something, if I may. Yeah, it'll only take a moment. I think... I think we'll be good here. <clears throat> hey, Cupcake, the reason I asked you to join me today is because I've seen you struggling lately. And it's breaking my heart. I know it isn't easy when you give your heart to someone and they don't seem to reciprocate your affection with the same intensity. And I can't help but feel like you're deserving of more than that. Hey there, Cupcakes. Thank you so much for sticking with me this long. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you all for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscriptions. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It does help me out. And, of course, I would like to welcome my newest patron, Chris and Raven. So nice to have you with us. And I would like to thank all of those very special bakers and pound cakes who do so much to help me be able to do this. Thank you. That one Brit your skating wolfie, see, I didn't change it. Nosty, Rogue Scholar, Barry Wilburn, Esteed, Anon, SLE Photo, Harper Evolution, Wolf9004, Vile Miles, Succubus Slave, Malice Celo, Army Guy 007, Mr. Fabulous Bunny, Tiny the Taxman, Merrill, Inline Flaws, Onan, Darth Mythos, Red Death 48, Always Abel, Vagar, Moon, Old Bean UK, Kalua Bear, Forces, the Swaggy Llama, Cody, Art Lowe, Pierce Talish, and Christian Cleopa. I hope you will all be as good to yourselves as you are to me. I will speak to you tomorrow.